Hey guys, thanks for checking out Rocky Mountain Backcountry again today. We got a good one for you. We did about a 60 mile ride to get to where we're at. And uh, we're doing a little UTV overland. I'm going to give you guys some short snippets of the ride to get to where we're at. And then, I don't know, we're just going to do a little camp out. So, come along with me for the ride. Look at those mountains up there, you guys. That's the Monroe Mountain. Ooh, that's beauty. All right, we're gonna come up over this hill and there should be some incredible colors. Riding in the fall is absolutely awesome, you guys. Down here along this creek, check this out. Oh, there's still some stuff that hasn't turned, but a lot of it has. What an incredible ride. guys honestly whew, look at this I am a little bit higher in elevation than I wanted to be for the night all the way down there is where we were fishing clear down there in the bottom anyway this is this is absolutely beautiful up here and uh, if we get moisture tonight, it's going to be in the form of snow. But I'm all right with that. I'm a little more prepared than I was with the uh, snow camping fail video. Go check that out right up there. Or is it up there? Anyway, I'll put a link to that. The snow camping fail video. I really wasn't ready for that. We're going to go down this canyon right here. And my GoPro battery just died and I wanted to video going down this canyon. It's super steep, but it is beautiful back in there. Check that out. All right, you guys, let's go.
All right, guys, we made it to the epic camp. Check this out. Oh, that's beautiful. There's not a lot of light going on right now. The sun's gone down behind the hill. And I'll have to show you this tomorrow morning, but maybe you can get a little glimpse of it. Look at that, right up in that canyon. Oh, man. So right up in there, where those lighter trees are, right in the middle of the screen, that is Kimberly Mine site. And so there used to be a town up here called Kimberly. And there were around 5,000 people that lived up here. And... Uh, worked out of this gold mine so anyway absolutely amazing that is our epic camp for the night my feet are a little bit cold from fishing earlier so I'm gonna get a fire built and get the rest of my bedding made up and cook some supper and I'll check you guys later good morning guys I'm happy to report that it was a successful night in the rooftop tent. And I actually slept pretty good. Um, I actually slept a little longer than I wanted to, but I'm up now to show you guys the scenery. Oh man, talk about an epic camp. Woo! We got red rock formations behind us. We got high alpine peaks in front of us this is the epic camp all right you guys it's time for some breakfast while the sun comes up there it's coming over that mountain real quick it's shining over here but oh look you can see it peeking through back there oh, this is the epic camping spot For uh, breakfast this morning, I've got uh, a freeze-dried meal. You guys saw the peak performance, no, peak refuel. Um, I've got Rocky Mountain Backcountry fuel. How's that? So, a few months ago, I invested in my own freeze dryer. And I did some breakfast skillet for myself. Scrambled eggs, peppers, you know, the good stuff. So I'm gonna boil up some water and uh, I'm gonna show you guys the Rocky Mountain Backcountry skillet. How's that? I'm only going to need this jacket for a minute. As soon as the sun comes up, it's going to be perfect out here. I brought a peak refuel just in case. But... Here's the Rocky Mountain breakfast skillet. Check this out. It's a typical freeze dried meal. Whoa, scrambled eggs, peppers, a little bit of sausage. 
<laughs> We're down for this, you guys. Don't forget the caffeine. I don't know how much time we got today, but we did all our riding yesterday, so that's all right. Clouds are supposed to build today for a big storm tonight and tomorrow. So we might just do a couple of things and head out. Sure is pretty though. Did I show you guys this? Buddy Pat. Box Creek Knife Company. Check that little sucker out. Man, that's beautiful. My son had him make that for me for my birthday. Woo, thank you. Yeah, Rocky Mountain Backcountry refuel here. No, I'm not going to start my own freeze-dried food company. Just do it for myself. And for the apocalypse that's coming. I'll tell you right now, you guys, that smells good. So I got the drone out, and uh, as soon as I took off, the battery on the remote died. It was about five feet in the air, so I grabbed the drone. I couldn't shut it off with the remote, but... Uh, <laughs> so those drone propellers aren't super friendly. That's funny. Get out my trusty first aid kit. I had the intentions of doing a whole bunch of videos today. But the weather doesn't look like it's going to play in my favor. That really hurt. Let's give this home freeze-dried skillet a shot, you guys. What do you say? Really looks good. My band-aid won't stay on, though. <clears throat> All right. Mandatory salt and pepper. All right, here it is. Oh, it smells delicious. Rocky Mountain Backcountry homemade freeze-dried food skillet. Does that work? That's a mouthful.
That's all right, you guys. Oh, there's the sun coming back out. Oh, that feels good. I'll give you guys another shot of that. Homegrown breakfast skillet in my own freeze dryer, huh? That's a great place to have breakfast, you guys. That's what I'm saying. I've got to doctor myself up a little more. So this pack is actually a pack that I uh, that I got through search and rescue. And the idea is to be able to use it on search and rescue victims. I guess maybe today I'm that victim. That's bleeding pretty good. <laughs> All right, now we got her handled. Let's see if I can use scissors with my left hand. That ought to do the trick. So, I gotta tell you, it's not really story time, but it's kind of my reality, and I love it. So, I'm sitting here, get a text message. Look, I'm, I'm right here. Camp's right there, you guys. <laughs> get a text message. Hey man, we want to check out a house today. You guys know I'm a real estate agent. I'm broker. Used to be Remax, now Coview Real Estate. So, anyway, <clears throat> I just get a call and a uh, good friend of mine wants to see a house. So, I'm sitting here. <laughs> I'm sitting right here making appointments to show houses. Woo wee. I love my job. I love what I do. <clears throat> I love what I can do. So anyway, I tell you that to tell you this. I am going to do a uh, quick breakdown of my camp right here. Show you guys my overland setup. And uh, it's time to go to work. So anyway, check this out you guys. All right, it doesn't get any more real than this. So, I'm just eating breakfast. I'm gonna show you guys what's up here. You don't need to see all my bedding, but that's a rooftop tent. Nothing new. Sits up sweet on the X3 roof rack and the custom cage from Hindenburg Customs. Thanks guys. Uh, you've seen my toolboxes. This is my, this is my kitchen kit right here. I'll link a video to that down in the description or up here somewhere. Uh, I really didn't use that on this trip. This is my search and rescue pack. This goes with me everywhere. I'll do, uh, I'll do a video on that. That was one of the ones I was going to do today. Show you what goes in my search and rescue pack. And I guess that's kind of an EDC pack. 
and uh, that's with me in my truck wherever I go it's on the side by side anyway <clears throat> got my kitchen set up my finger cutting drone and uh, you know today all I had to do is boil some water up this handy little Coleman unit or Stanley unit that's a Stanley anyway I packed that full of a bunch of stuff and that stuff goes inside my search and rescue pack all the time and uh, that's it you guys have seen my table my chair you guys have seen the rest of the setup but that's where we're at today so anyway you guys whoo that's how we went uh, UTV overlanding on this trip drop a comment down below and let me know what you guys think of that if there's anything you think that I ought to add to my kit or take away from it but anyway I think I got it set up just perfect for what I do it worked out great well that's it for this time you guys thanks for checking out Rocky Mountain backcountry drop a comment down below and let me know what you think of this little camp out what you think of my setup if we need to change anything or add anything let me know if there's anything specific that you want to see too I plan on doing a, uh, a review of my backpack there uh, that's kind of my EDC backpack search and rescue backpack I carry that with me all the time so subscribe so you don't miss a video of what I keep in there and uh, I don't know one of these times I'll review everything that I got in my side by side too so anyway like if you do subscribe if you haven't and let's go off-road off-grid overland Rocky Mountain backcountry you guys we're out